in this video, I'm going to do some <clears throat> very basic, uh, simple examples of number manipulations of different types. Okay, now this is a number line. You got zero year <clears throat> and you got one year. So, and this is divided into four equal parts. So the question is, which arrow is plotting to four seventh on the number line? Now, when you, whenever you have a question like this, it's always good to write what each. So this is zero. This is one. So one whole has been divided into four equal parts. So this is one half. You can see this is exactly in the middle. And this is half of half, which is quarter. So one half is nothing but two quarters. And this is three quarters. And this is four quarters. Okay, four quarters is one. Okay, so here this is one quarter. So A is, we cross out A, A is not the answer, B is not, D is not the answer. E, I don't know about, so there are three options here. This is B, C, and E. Now, I would like to look whether B or C, let us look at B and C. Now, one half can be written as two quarters, or that is same as four eighths. Okay, so this is very interesting. You got this is four eighths. This is nothing but four eighths. So now my question is: Is this four seventh or this four seventh? So I'll put four seventh and a question mark here. I don't know whether this is four seventh or whether this is four seventh. So yeah, from the diagram I can see. Oops, I need a smaller eraser. So this is. This is only a question mark, so I don't know. Okay, so let us think about it. So this, for this is to the right, and this is to the left. So my question now would should be, if this is four seventh, for is four seventh. So I'm asking a question now. So always, whenever you want to learn anything, you have to have heaps of questions. So my question is, is four seventh? greater than 4 8 or the same thing is 4 7 so the same thing can be if you put like this is 4 7 less than 4 8 okay now before I answer that question so here in these two fractions the numerator the top numbers are equal the bottom numbers are different so to explain that or to understand that so let us write when you, whenever, suppose you have one half and one quarter, one half and one quarter, which is greater? Obviously, one half is greater. Okay, one half is greater. Okay, now if you take one half and one third, which is greater? Again, one third is greater. So if the numerator, the top numbers are equal, smaller the bottom number greater the fraction okay so let me take one more example suppose you have got one quarter one quarter and one fifth so if you're good in fractions and decimals and percentages this quarter is 25 percent so let me write this i hope you understand it's 25 percent or 25 out of 100 and one fifth is 20 percent so one quarter is a greater than one fifth. Or if you think, if, if you don't know percentages, this imagine one, suppose let me draw this. Let me draw a circle. You should understand. Suppose this is a circle. This is a circle. And I'm going to highlight, so explain that. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, oops, so let me. So this is, I'm going to divide this into quarters. So let me divide this into, most of you can understand what I'm trying to explain. So this is a quarter, and this I'm going to divide into fifths. So if I divide into fifths, this is fifths. So this is a quarter, and this is a fifth, okay? So which is greater? This is a quarter, and this is a fifth, okay? So yeah, so let me write here. This is a quarter, this is one quarter, 
and this is one fifth so you can see one quarter is greater than one fifth okay so now using that same logic here let us answer this question which is greater the top numbers are the same so four seventh is greater so this is right four seventh is greater than four eighth this is not right okay as the bottom number is smaller the fraction becomes bigger so the answer should be which arrow is pointing to 4 7 obviously this is not the answer so this is 4 7 is nothing but C so yeah our answer should be C so 4 7 is because this is less than 4 7 this is this is 4 8 so 4 7 is greater than 4 8 so this has to be to the right so this is the answer or this is the error okay the next question this is one box this is not drawn to scale so this box has the length is 3 centimeters the width is 4 centimeters and the height is 2 centimeters here yeah, this is a box it's partially drawn this is four centimeters two centimeters and we want to find the height of this box so what information do we have how high is box d if it has three times the volume of box c so the volume when you want to find volume of box c so let us write the volume of box c so this is what is given volume of box C sorry box D volume of box D if it has three times the volume of box C so volume of box D is has the volume three times volume of volume of box C this is what is given Okay, so whenever you have a statement, try to write an equation out of this. Now, volume of a box is length times width times height. So, can I say this is 3, this is the length, so 3 centimeters times 4 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters is equal to, is equal to, three times the volume of box C, the volume of box C is four centimeters times two centimeters times question mark centimeter, question mark centimeter. Okay, so this is how much? So this is four times three is 12, 12 times two is 24 centimeter cube, okay? is equal to this is 3 times 4 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 am i right yeah 24 centimeter squared times some centimeter so use your logic what should be 3 times 4 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 yeah 3 times 4 is 12 times 2 is 24 so what should come here so this should also be 24 centimeter cube that should also be 24 centimeter cube now you may wonder how did you get a cube centimeter when you're multiplying units you also multiply the unit centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is centimeter cube and centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared times this is a centimeter so obviously 24 centimeters times one centimeter would only give you 24 centimeter cube so the answer here should be one centimeters okay looking at the next question 0.6 is same as 0.6 is same as 6 over 10 this is this is 6 out of 10 so this is pretty easy okay speed of the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second 340 meters per second. One night, a mopoke calls from a tree 1.7 kilometers away. How long 
before the sound of the can be heard. I don't know. Or how long before the sound of the call can be heard is the question. Can be heard. That means once the more poke uh, calls, how long does it take for that to be heard? So this is a question of ratio. So let me make two columns. Whenever you have a question like this, you it's always good to make a, two columns or two or three columns, whatever is necessary. So your distance and time. So we are relating distance and time. So what is this information telling me? So for 340 meters, you need one second. That's the information that we have. And for 1.7 kilometers, so one kilometer, hopefully you should know, is 1,000 meters. So 1.7 kilometers, 1.7 kilometers would be 1,700 meters. So 1,000 700 meters would take how many seconds? That's the question. Okay, so here again, this is a question of ratio. So I should be thinking like this. 174 times what gives me 1,700? So I don't know that will be too difficult. So I'll go like this. Always good to think. So I know 340 times 10 gives me 3,400 meters. So what happens if I do 340 times 5? Okay, so if you halve this, you have to halve this. So 340 times 5 would be half of 1,400. So 3,400 is 1,700. So one, 340 times 5 gives you 1,700, so you, this has to increase by the same ratio, by the same proportion. So it's times 5, so it takes 5 seconds before we can hear the call of the more poke. Okay, and final question here. Uh, okay, this is the sixth question, sorry. So there's one more question, so this is question number 6. Okay, so let me take this lightly up. This is question number five. 24 students of a 24 of the students who tried out for the rugby were selected. This was 75 percent uh, of the total number who tried out. How many tried out altogether? So what they are telling us is 24 student is nothing but 75 percent. Okay, now 75 percent. I hope you understand this. Three quarters. So we can make a column like this. So three quarter of the students represent 24 students. So you, basically they're asking you what is 100%. So if three quarters is 24, one quarter would be how much? So this is, so if you go from year to year, the same principle, this is three quarter times three should be 24. So this number times three should give you 24. So what times 3 is 24? 8. Okay, 8 times 3 is 24. So the same proportion. So if you add this, you can add this. So 3 quarters plus 1 quarter is a whole. Whole would represent 32 students. So the whole, all together there were 32 students. 32 is the answer. Okay, now the final question. Now this is a set of hexagons. They all uh, are together. So the, you, this is all also called tessellation. So this is, I have mode this, so if I bring this, so these are all equal or congruent hexagons. So what's the measure of this angle? So this is angle at a point. Suppose you know angle at a point gives you how many? So if this is x, I can say this is also x. And this is also x. So can I say 3x plus x plus x? I can say x plus x plus x is 360. Angle at a point adds to 360. Or one full turn. This is one full turn. So 3 times x, 3 times x is 360. 
So I want to get rid of this 3, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So 3 times x divided by 3 is 360 divided by 3. So x is 120 degree. x is equal to 120 degree. Hopefully these examples are helpful.